The Bentley Continental GT, the king of all GT cars. Or is it? You see, there's a new kid in town, the McLaren GT, and this thing is gunning for the throne. Both cars use a four litre twin turbocharged V8. Both are very luxurious and both will do around 200 miles an hour. But what happens when we put them together on a quarter mile? It's worth pointing out that the Bentley is very heavy, but it has four wheel drive, which is perfect for these conditions, which are quite slippery today. The McLaren is a lot lighter, but it has more power. However, it also has rear wheel drive. So what's gonna happen? Only one way to find out. Let's run it. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. Ah, oh, he's got a drop on me. He's gone. Bentley's disappeared. I'm getting wheel spin at 70 miles an hour. I'm coming back at him. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Here we go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I took him at the line. I took him at the line. Oh my God. That is mad. That is genuinely mad. It got off the line super quick, all wheel drive. But after about 70 miles an hour, I was getting wheel spin, <laughs> a slight little correction on the steering wheel. But then I started reeling him in, reeling him in. And in the end, the McLaren got it. That's funny though, because in the real world, that Bentley's quicker. In the real world, up to around 100 miles an hour, the Bentley's quicker. Let's see what happens. So here's a recap. All wheel drive helped the Bentley disappear off the line. The McLaren has launch control and hooked up reasonably well, but rear wheel drive and a greasy track meant it just didn't have the traction or torque to keep up with the Bentley at the start. The Bentley managed 0 to 60 in 3.69 seconds, while the McLaren needed nearly 4.2 but the McLaren is quicker once it's on the move. Even with that slow start, it did 0 to 100 in 7.54, over a second quicker than the Bentley. For the full quarter mile, the Big Mac did it in 11.78 at 131.6 miles an hour, rapid. The Bentley needed 12.03, crossing the line at 119.1. So there you go, guys. Fun little race for you. Bentley Continental GT versus McLaren GT. If you want to see what happens when we compare these cars on the road, then make sure you click here. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Catch you next time.